All right, we're going to participate with reciprocal and quotient identities. Now, the first part is going to be over reciprocal. So here's our first example. If secant theta equal to 3 over 8, find cosine theta. Now, to review, secant theta in relation to cosine theta which is basically 1 over cosine theta and in reverse order. So cosine theta in relation to secant is just 1 over secant theta. Now, the one we're going to be using is the one where it's equal to cosine theta. So this one right here. So that's what we're going to use this one right here because it asks you to find cosine theta so you use the one where it equals to cosine theta so all we have to do is follow this form this rule so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write cosine theta is equal to 1 on the top because of that rule and then what I have for secant theta which is 3 over 8 that's what I'm going to put as the denominator 3 over 8 now just like how we did in for amplitude period frequency and fascia so if you have a denominator I mean numerator divided by a fraction a mini fraction inside a big fraction I'm going to rewrite it as a division so 1 divided by 3 over 8 I can rewrite it as a multiplication so 1 times 8 over 3 and 1 times 8 over 3 is just simply 8 over 3 so cosine theta is equal to 8 over 3 and that is all we have to do so that's what you have to do when you're using the reciprocal identities So again, I use the reciprocal identity between cosine and secant, where cosine theta is equal to 1 over secant theta. And I use this one because we're finding cosine. And then I plug in the value for secant theta, and then work it out, simplify, and I have cosine theta equals 8 over 3. In our second example, we have if tangent theta equal 6 over 11, find cotangent theta. Alright, now to review, I'm just only going to do one, which is the cotangent theta. So, cotangent theta, the reciprocal identity for cotangent theta is one over tangent theta. So, cotangent theta is simply 1 as a numerator then I'm going to plug in the value of tangent theta which is 6 over 11 so I have a fraction within the fraction I'm going to rewrite it as a division so the numerator divided by the denominator and if I want to rewrite it as a multiplication it's going to be 1 times 11 over 6 1 times 11 over 6 is simply 11 over 6. So, cotangent theta is equal to 11 over 6. So that's all you have to do by following the reciprocal identity for cotangent theta. So all I did was Use the reciprocal identity for cotangent data and plug in the value of tangent data in the denominator. Wrote it as a division, rewrite it as a multiplication, and simplify into 11 over 6. Alright, in this example, we have if tangent data equals 4 over 7 and cosine data equals 2 over 5, find sine data. Alright. 
So it's using two trig function, asking you to find the other one. So in this one, we're going to be using the quotient identity because there's a relationship between tangent, cosine, and sine. So if I were to write out the quotient identity, so the quotient identity for tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. All right. So by following that identity, all we're going to do next is plug in the values for tangent theta and cosine theta. So for tangent theta, it was 4 over 7 equal. We don't know what sine theta is, so we're just going to keep it as sine theta over the value of cosine theta, which is 2 over 5. Now, if we're simply trying to find sine theta, and that's a numerator, so what we can do is, in order to get sine theta by itself, we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator, which is 2 over 5. So 2 over 5, and then 2 over 5. So, doing that, on the left side, 2 fifth times 4 seventh, that's going to become 8 over 35, equal, when you have 2 fifth times sine theta over 2 fifth, 2 fifth divided by 2 fifth will be 1, and left with sine theta, which I can flip it, so sine theta on the left equal to 8 over 35 on the right. So, that's all you have to do to get the value of sine theta. So again, we use the quotient identity because you were given two values, tri trig values, and find a third one and the reason I also use quotient was because there is a relationship between tangent, cosine, and sine, which was tangent theta equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Next, I just plug in the values for tan and cosine, simplify to get sine by itself, which was equal to 8 over 35. Alright, in this example, it says if cotangent theta equal to 2 over 7 and cosine theta equals 3 over 5 find sine theta. Now we're going to use the quotient identity because there's a relationship between cotangent, cosine, and sine. So the quotient identity for cotangent is cosine theta over sine theta. Now, we are going to plug in the values for cotangent and cosine. So the value of cotangent is 2 over 7 equal, we do have a value for cosine theta which was 3 over 5 so we'll put that as a numerator. Is a different one. Three over five, and as the denominator, we're going to put sine theta. All right. So since we're looking for sine theta, and it's in the denominator, what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by sine theta. So what's going to happen when you multiply on the left is just simply one. two seventh sine theta 
equal and on the right side sine theta divided by sine theta is just one so I'm left with three fifth and then if I want to get sine theta by itself since that's what we're looking for I'm going to divide the left side by 2 over 7 and then do the same thing divide by 2 over 7 so that will help us get sine, sine theta by itself equal 3 over 5th divided by 2 7th now you see how it's the fraction divided by another fraction I'm going to rewrite it as a division so 3 5th divided by 2 7th next I'm going to rewrite it as a multiplication so 3 5th times 7 over 2 when we multiply that you're going to get 21 over 10 can't simplify that so which is okay so the value of sine theta is equal to 21 over 10 that's our final answer alright now this example it took a bit more steps so again I wrote out the question identity for cotangent which was cosine over sine plug in the values for cotangent and cosine and since we were looking for sine and we try to get it by itself especially when it's the denominator I'll multiply both sides by sine theta which was 2 7 sine theta equals 3 over 5 and then in order to get it by itself I divide by 2 7th on both sides which led to sine data equal to 3 5 over 2 7th. We wrote it as division, then we wrote it as a multiplication, and it simplified into 21 over 10, which was the value for sine data. Alright, in this example, it says if cosecant data equals 9 over 10 and secant data equals 2 over 5, find tangent data. Now, this is going to be in a combination of reciprocal and quotient. First, I'm going to write out the quotient. So tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Now we have cosecant. So the value of cosecant or the reciprocal is that sine theta equal to 1 over cosecant theta and then cosine theta is equal to 1 over secant theta <clears throat> alright so what we're going to do next is since it's asking you to find tangent but it only use sine and cosine so we're going to use the reciprocal identity for sine and cosine and when we're going to plug it in to sine and cosine for tangent. So it's going to be a big fraction. So tangent theta is equal. So the reciprocal for sine theta is 1 over cosecant. And then for your denominator cosine, it will be 1 over secant. Now, <clears throat> Since it's a fraction divided by another fraction, I can rewrite it as a division. So 1 over cosecant theta divided by 1 over secant theta. Then I can rewrite it again as a multiplication. So 1 over cosecant theta times secant theta over 1. So all we have to do is just multiply straight across. So tangent theta 1 times secant theta will be secant theta on the top as a numerator over cosine 
I mean cosecant theta times 1 as the denominator. <clears throat> Next, we're going to plug in the values. So, secant theta was 2 over 5. I'm going to put that as the numerator. And then our denominator was cosecant, which was 9 over 10. So we're going to rewrite it as a division. So 2 fifth divided by 9 over 10. Rewrite it as a multiplication. So 2 fifth times 10 over 9. And then multiply it right across. So 2 times 10, 20. 5 times 9, 45. Now, we can simplify this because both of them, numerator and denominator, are both divisible by 5. So 20 divided by 5 will be 4 on the top. 45 divided by 5 will be 9. So, tangent theta, I'm going to write right here, is equal to 4 over 9. So this one, it used one quotient identity and two reciprocal identity. And here you wrote it as a big fraction. And let me box this up. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, tangent data was a huge fraction. One over cosecant data over 1 over secant theta. We wrote it as division. We wrote it as a multiplication. Simplify where tangent theta equal to secant theta over cosecant theta. Plug in a value. So we have a fraction divided by another fraction. We wrote it as a division. We wrote it as a multiplication. Simplify into 20 over 45, which we can simplify further into 4 over 9. So the value of tangent data equals to 4 over 9.